Hey guys, so we are back at the property. Um, we're basically finished. Uh, so now I'm gonna, just gonna show you everything that we've done. Starting off with this box here. So I'll probably put a picture in to show you what it was before, because before there was like loads of things sticking out. It was a massive hazard. So what Aaron did is he actually made this box himself. He did great and painted over it and it just blends in with the wall, which it just looks, if you see the before picture, you realize why I'm so happy about it because it just looks so good and so flush. We've also sorted out the Wi-Fi, got the high speed Wi-Fi, of course. Um, and then we've got a little mailbox here that we install at our property as always. Um, also, if you come along here, obviously the Wi-Fi is plugged there, but if you notice, the Wi-Fi actually runs from this plug here. So when I was sorting out the Wi-Fi, there was an issue. I couldn't find anywhere where I could actually connect the internet up. Um, everywhere was just like not working. And then I found a little thing near the door. Don't know what it's called, but I connected it to the Wi-Fi and it worked. But the, is but the, the issue was that there was only a plug here. So we had to get a really, really long extension lead and what Aaron did is he actually clipped the wires to the, to the wall. So it just literally blends in with the wall. If you see, it goes all the way along, then goes up, across, you'll see, and then comes down. And it's all hidden in that box. You won't even see no wires, anything. That's why I'm so happy about the box. It's just so flush with the wall. But yeah, let's come through. We'll start downstairs and then go upstairs. Um, Cause I think upstairs is the best part, to be honest. Uh, so yeah, to come through, uh, we've still got beds in here that we need to get rid of, but they'll be rid of very soon. We've not really done much to the living room, um, we just gave it a mop and a clean and that's it. We, yeah, we didn't do anything to it to be honest, it didn't need anything doing to it, so we just left it. Uh, the kitchen, if you come through here, we gave it, we gave it a nice clean and we added, you know, the little little extras for the kitchen so you've got we've got a new toaster new kettle uh you've got your coffee sugar tea the extras uh we've got a washer dryer because before there was actually a washing machine in here and it's not really convenient for tenants um because there's not much space and hanging the clothes up is, is very very long obviously um we do have a back area but yeah we added the fire extinguisher obviously it's important health and safety um we've got the powder one and then we've got a fire blanket here as well um but yeah we, that, we haven't done much to the kitchen we've just made sure we are being safe and also things are a lot easier for our tenants so yeah if we go upstairs i'll show you the upstairs the upstairs is what i'm very happy with aaron worked hard on it I dressed it very well, but you may see some pictures. I, might, I may, may put them in. Let me just turn the light on. Oh, I turned it off. <laughs> Alright, let's go upstairs. So, bathroom. The light's not the best in here, but it will do. So, in here was Magnolia paint. Aaron painted it all white, just to make it look a bit more modern, uh, which I think it looks great. We added a shower, uh, new shower curtain, a uh, floor mat for the bathroom, and just a little, you know, toothbrush thing, just to make it look a bit nicer, a bit more modern, a bit more modern feel about the bathroom. Because before, if you see the old video, um, it would it looked very old fashioned. Also, if you remember the mastic, it was very mouldy, very horrible. Aaron cleaned it up, put put a nice fresh mastic down and he also did it along the bath as well so everything's nice and fresh and ready to go so yeah that's the bathroom um so yeah so key safes we got these installed well Aaron installed them in um because we felt they were very important with this c19 situation um it made it more efficient in regards to less contact with tenants only time we're really going to be con like in contact with tenants is viewings and we can social distance with that which is great um, and then obviously when they come in they've just got to use the key saves which is a lot lot more easier um, but yeah so he installed all of these key saves on every room and also one on the outside door if you can see just the little black dots <laughs> next to the doors 
Um, so yeah, so every room's got a key safe, which is great and uh, makes it a lot easier for us. Now, we're moving on to bedroom one. So this is one of the small rooms. As you can see on the previous video, it was Magnolia paint. Um, when I come in here, I told Aaron I don't want Magnolia paint. Looks old. I want something where, when we, when you come into your bedroom, it feels like a whole new, new space. It doesn't feel like a, like your inner house, if that makes sense. I want it to be. So obviously, when you're a tenant, you just want it. You want your own space. And I feel like when you change it, change the paint to the hallway, it gives you that little different. Yeah, I know what I'm trying to say, but yeah, I went for a grey, a light grey paint. As you can see, we installed 32 inch TVs in the room. Uh, we did install these in every room, so every room has got this TV, which is great, and it's a smart TV, so you get your Netflix, Prime, all them fancy things. Um, as like, obviously, we added these chairs, I don't know if the previous chairs were in the video before, but these were very, very, we got these off Amazon, very, very nice chairs, nice, just simple, um, and just, yeah, it makes the room look clean, I love it. Uh, kept the drawers, we got a new bed, so what we did is, obviously we got a new headboard, actually we didn't get a new bed, um, scrap that, what we did is actually we got covers for the actual bed frame, so it makes it look obviously a bit more better and less and more clean, um, and we put mattress protectors on obviously because they're, they're important, and then we got a fresh headboard, and it just looks a lot better. Um, but yeah, this is room number one. This is one of the smaller rooms. Um, I'm going to show you one of the bigger rooms now. We'll move into room two. So if you just come through and follow me. So, if you notice, we didn't change any of the furniture in this place. We kept all the furniture. We just changed the walls. And the difference, and obviously added the TVs and the chairs, um, and the difference it's made is so like massive. I love it. Um, like before, it was looking very, very dull in here and very boring. Also, on the last video, it was quite dark in here, so you couldn't see much. But now we've got smart bulbs put in, which again, they are in every room. We've got smart bulbs, so when the tenants come in, they can actually control the light bulb from their phone, which is great because it means they don't have to get up out of bed to turn the light off. Um, yeah, so we installed them, another TV, 32 inch TV, same as the other room, um, but yeah, if you see, this is a massive, massive space, this room will definitely go, it's got a king bed, um, which is great, because this is the only room in the actual house that has a king bed, um, all the others are doubles or a actual small double, so, um, this, I'll probably say this is probably the best room in regards to space, if anyone likes space, definitely the best room. What we'll do is we'll move on to the next room now. I also very much like this room as well. Um, this room looks re very flush. So obviously compared to the other big room, the bed frame is a bit old fashioned, whereas this one looks a bit more modern, uh, makes the room look a bit more, I don't know, clean, fresh. Um, again, we kept all the same furniture, just changed the walls, added a TV, and the difference is honestly, I love it. I love it, it's amazing. Um, and I just, I spent the majority of the day dressing the property. Um, I might add some pictures in just so you can see. Um, and it looked, it looked amazing. I can't wait to get it up and can't wait to get tenants in. Um, but yeah, this is the second big room. Nice, nice and spacious. We'll go to the last room, um, which is another small room, but um, it's still, still a very nice room. All rooms have desks in, as you, as you would have seen on the previous video. Again, um, we added a headboard to this to this bed, um, covered the bed frame just to make it a little more, little bit more nice and a bit more clean. TV on the wall, um, and yeah, I've got a nice wardrobe in here. This is a nice, a good, um, a good nice small room for people who don't really like a lot of space. Because some people like space, but some people like just to have their little cosy room you know so this is this is for someone who likes a little cozy room and also the heat air actually gets really warm in here um but yeah this is the last room um as you can see in the whole property all we did was paint the rooms gray 
add the little bits, so the mattress protectors, the, the, the covers for the bed frame, the headboards, TV, a nice chair to go in the room, and the difference is just amazing. So, um, but yeah, really, really looking forward to getting this rented out. Props to Aaron, because he did a lot, a lot of the work, and he did amazing. Um, but yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing the little transformation that we did. I mean, it wasn't a huge transformation, but if you watched the previous video, it definitely looks a lot, lot better. Um, but yeah, if you did enjoy this video, please like and subscribe. And hopefully we can come back with more content very, very soon. I'll see you guys later. Bye.